Hey guys, it's me. Um, oh, sorry for recording this video so late, but um, I had a lot of shit I had to take care of today. Anyway, I went to my Weight Watcher meeting. I did really good this week. I lost another 2.4, which puts my current grand total at 81.4. I'm halfway to my goal. I need to lose, I think, 80.6 to get to my goal weight. It's really, really exciting to finally hit that halfway mark. And I'm less than four pounds away from the lowest weight I've ever been. I currently weigh 218.2. And the lowest weight I've ever been was 214. So I'm getting really, really close to that. Really, really close to that. And um, what I've decided to do, my points dropped again. It seems like every time I lose five pounds, I lose a point. So my points are down to 30. And the basically the minimum amount of points you can have is 26. And if I keep losing points at the rate I'm losing, I'm going to hit a plateau really, really badly. So what I'm going to do this week as an experiment, just to see if I can still lose weight doing this, I was going to, because my Weight Watcher leader told me that we can up our points by th within three. So I'm going to up my points back up to 33. Okay, just to see if I can still lose weight at 33. So I'm going to try that for a week, and if my weight loss is still decent, you know, at least a pound at 33, then I'll, I'll keep doing it unless my points drop again. Because if I lose another 5 pounds, my, my point will probably drop down to 29, which then I would lower my points to 32 and so on and so on as I go, as I go all the way down until I get to 29 or to 26, once I drop to 26, and then I'm up at 29, and if, if I'm still, if I'm plateauing, then I go down to 28 and so on until I get basically to 26 at the, at the bare-ass bottom. But anyway, I'm, hope, I'm hoping not to have to worry about that for a while, but it's an experiment that I'm going to start doing this week to see if I can, if I can um, stay at the 33-point level and still have a consistent weight loss, even though my points say that I'm at 30. Um, just because I'm, I'm really, really scared that if I keep um, going down at this rate that I'm going to plateau. And I really don't want to plateau. That would be very, very bad. Because basically at the rate I'm going, by the time I get to my 100 pound mark, I'm going to be at 26. And I'm still going to have like 60 pounds to lose and I'm going to be at the bottom. I'm going to be at 26 points and I won't go down anymore which means I'm going to have to either start eating a lot more zero-point foods or I'm going to have to start being a lot more active. And both of those things are going to be really, really difficult. And also, um, one other thing I wanted to talk about in this video was uh, um, I got a call from my doctor the other day saying there was a problem with my blood work because I had a physical a couple weeks ago and she said there was a problem with my blood work. And of course, I immediately freaked out sorry I'm thirsty I immediately freaked out and basically was like oh my god I'm diabetic I'm gonna die you know and and even though on the phone she's like oh it's not it's nothing big it's nothing big I was just I had so much trouble sleeping last night because I was like oh my god she's gonna say I'm diabetic and I'm never gonna be able to eat chocolate again and I'm gonna die but turns out I went in and she was like all oh, your tests were good and I was like I was like, wait, wait, wait a minute. If everything's good, why did why'd I have to come in? And she looked on the next page. She's like, oh, I see what it was. And I was like, what is it? And basically, all it was was a vitamin D deficiency. Okay? I'm not sure if you guys will understand any of this, but I'm going to try my best to explain it. Okay? A, a regular, normal, healthy vitamin D level is 3,200 or higher. 3,200 or higher. My score was 9 for vitamin D. 9. And it should be 3,200 plus. She was saying four or 5,000 is what it should be. And mine was 9. So she basically gave me some pills, some vitamin D, some... I guess they must be big fucking... have a lot of vitamin D in them because I'm only supposed to take one a week for two months. And then what I need to start doing after that is I have to, um, I have to, uh, buy, like, go to Costco and get, like, a big thing of vitamin D and start taking that every day. But I was so happy it wasn't something major, 
you know, I was just like, oh god, I thought for sure she's gonna say, you're fat, you need to lose weight, you're still really, really fat, it doesn't even matter that you lost 82 pounds, fatty, fat! But, um, no, she did not, I mean, actually, she was quite impressed, because I told her, I said, I've just lost almost 82 pounds already, and she's like, oh, that's great, you know, I'm just like, oh, another 81 to go, you know. Dee -dee 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 -dee. But anyway, ugh, while I'm still doing this video here, I want to show you the stuff I bought today. Uh, I went down to Lane Bryant, and I bought some stuff. I bought some tank tops. I got this cute little white tank top. And I'm actually down to the smallest size in shirts that they have now. I'm down to a 1416 in shirts, which is kind of which is kind of cool, but I guess that means I'll be able to start buying shirts in a in a I got a black tank top too. I'll I'll be able to start buying shirts in normal stores pretty soon, I guess. And I also found this other really cute shirt here. I just really liked it. It's a really nice color. And it has a nice little design on it and stuff. It's really cute. And uh, I was so annoyed because um, I, I got this one pair of jeans. These jeans are um, are a, a size 18, but they're the reds. And basically what a size red in Lane Bryant terms means is it's like smaller at the waist and and straight on the legs basically so I had to go up to an 18 in these because the waist is smaller you know it's like a triangle you know like like that or something but so these fit good you know I, and they feel a little snug but you know they'll it'll give a little bit once I wear them and uh, that's pretty much all I bought uh, I was really mad they had some really nice capris that I was gonna buy but then after I, I was about to I got rung up I realized that these capris, because they were brand name, were 70 bucks a pop. And I was like, no, 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 no. I am not paying 70 bucks for capris. That shit's not happening. These jeans right here, these were these were only $12. And they're regularly 50. I mean, 50, I would pay 50 bucks for a pair of jeans. You know, a good pair of jeans. You know, but paying, paying 70 for a pair of jeans is, is unacceptable, unacceptable. But anyways, uh, other than that, um, nothing else too exciting going on. Uh, I'm still debating if I want to go to karaoke tonight. I really don't feel like going. I'm just kind of stressed out and just kind of feel like staying at home. You know, I mean, it's not like I'm going to meet anybody there. It's always the same people. Uh and whatnot. I'm just kind of, I don't know, I'm just feeling kind of bummed out, you know, because things are very, very stressful right now, and uh, it's just not a good time right now. In a nutshell, it's not a good time. Uh, I'm just trying to think if I have anything else important to say right now. I'm just checking my Twitter real quick. <gasps> See if Jory tweeted me. But he didn't. Meh. That's okay, though. <laughs> I mean, it's like I said. He's got, like... Let me see. How many followers does Mr. Karen have now? Not that I'm, like, stalking his page or anything. <laughs> no! I would never do that! Ever! But he's got... Almost 10,000 followers now. So basically, anytime I tweet him, there's a very good chance that he may not even see it. I mean, well, he might see it, but he may not have the time to respond. Because I know he doesn't sit there and just respond to every single tweet that he gets. I know that for a fact. He only really does that to the 40-something people that he actually follows back. And those are either big-time YouTubers or friends he knows in real life. And unfortunately, I'm neither of those things, so... Gosh darn it! I mean, what I wouldn't give to have him follow me on Twitter. I would, I would so claim bragging rights on that because, literally, he only follows 41 people on Twitter, and he's got almost 10,000 followers, and he's only following 41. It's like uh, Twitter is just like his, you know, his personal. It's really more personal to him. 
Although on his Facebook, he's friends with like 5,000 people there because 5,000 is the limit on Facebook. You'd think it'd be the other way around because most people do it the other way around, but, you know, I mean, but still, you know, I mean, mm, it's one of those things, and besides, if he did follow me, I'd probably mess, I'd probably DM the living shit out of him, and I, it would probably annoy the living shit out of him. It's not like I don't tweet him a lot, and I don't private message him a lot on Facebook to annoy the living shit out of him. But um, I have asked him on several occasions if I annoy the live, if I embarrass or annoy him, and he's always he always tells me no. He always tells me no, and I have no reason not to believe him. I mean, I don't think he would bullshit me. Um, I would think if if I really really said or did anything that really 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 annoyed him, I think he would he would straight up say, hey, you know, this was not cool. You know, don't do that. You know, because that's, that's just how he rolls. He's he's cool like that, don't you know? But anyway, I'm starting to run out of things to talk about. And I'm at the 11-minute mark. Well, anyways, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything else. No, I think I covered just about everything. Um... Um, so basically, as I stand right now, I need to lose about 19 pounds to get to my goal by VidCon. And basically, because let me see, I am, I am 218.2, and I need to get to 119.6 to get to the 100 pound. Ah, I screwed up. I hate screwing up. So, 218, oh great, I upset my cat. 218.2. Minus 199.6. So, yeah, I need to lose 18.6 in 12 weeks. 18.6 in 12 weeks, because VidCon is in 12 weeks. VidCon is in 12 fucking weeks! Ah! Yes, I am. Yes, indeed. Uh, yes, yes, um, yes, um, I, I, I really am that retarded. Yes. So, basically, I would need to average at least 1.5 pounds a week in order to hit the 100 pounds bef the Tuesday before VidCon or Wednesday depending what days off I end up getting on the next bid providing I still have a job by then but anyway anyway uh, I really don't want to go there but uh, I'll have to see what happens you know it's it's a very nerve-wracking but anyways, I'm at 13 minutes. That seems like a good place to stop. So, bye!